All right, welcome back. Here we are with another segment of Table Topics. We've got three great friends with us here tonight. Janet Irwin and uh, Paul Banke and uh, Rob Frigo from Canada Players. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Good to see you. Hello, Good Janet. Day. Hi. So you may not know about this segment. This is basically just a bunch of questions that we've thrown into a hat here. Some may be show-related. Many are not. In fact, most are not. I have no idea what's in here. As a uh, and we're just going to uh, converse, and it's just an opportunity to uh, to learn something about you guys. Okay. Oh, here's a good one. This is a good good first one here. All right. I'll throw this one to Jan first. Mm -hmm. Jan, if you were a superhero, what superpowers would you like to have? X-ray vision and uh, X-ray um, uh, audio. Uh, you know, I'd like to hear uh, everything. Oh, okay, okay. Why? Why are you attracted to these two things? I just like, and uh, it's it's a way of being deeply connected with the world. So you know, just to be able to see everything. And so for somebody who's spent her life wearing glasses, you can imagine the supervision would be a wonderful thing. You know, I'm still amazed that I we're here in here we are in the Glee. I see all these guys walking around with headphones on, and yeah. I think. Why would you want to listen to music? Why would you want to listen to the whole world? Exactly. I don't understand. And the glee, the glee is great because you can hear piano playing coming out of doorways and bees in the garden. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Really yeah. All right, Paul. What about you? What superpowers would you like to possess? Oh, I think I'd love to fly. If you ask me the same thing, what uh, what animal would you be? It'd be a bird. I think that's just the coolest really? thing. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just a sense of freedom, you know, where you can go unencumbered, you know, especially a fast bird. <laughs> now, have you ever considered taking um, uh, flying lessons? Yeah, I have. Yeah. You know, well, I've come close. I've done bungee jumping. I think oh. my next stop will be parachuting. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'll try that too. Crazy as well. Yeah. yeah well, my daughter's done it, so I want to do it now. <laughs> I'm too forgettable. I know that I would be flying down, and I think, oh, the pull. I can see it on the bench. I forgot <laughs> it. <laughs> That's a big sport. No, no. Well, that is very cool. I would like. I'd like to fly too. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And what about you, Rob? I'd like to be able to convince people of anything that is important to me. Yeah, because I, in my life, I, seem to, I seem to have had a lot of trouble. Con, con, see, I call it convincing people, and that's my bad approach right away, because I shouldn't be trying to convince. But, but uh, if I was able to bring my points across more easily to people and get them to get to go along with You don't want to bend them to your will, is that it? Well, I'd like to be able to, that, that they would do it willingly. Ah, right. So you want to be a super trial lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> you want super persuasive powers. Yeah, like you could do a lot with that. Yeah, that is pretty good. I like that. Well, it's good intentions. Oh, now this will be an interesting one. Okay, we'll start with Ron for this one, all right? Um, what is your most annoying habit? Well, I think it goes exactly with what I was saying. My most annoying habit is the fact that I always try to convince people <laughs> of, 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 um, um, of seeing a point. I think it through because I'm a bit of an introvert and, and I think things through and I have conversations with myself about the arguments, pros and cons, and by the time I say anything, I come out that it's already taught out as far as I'm concerned. You've well, lost your not, audience. I've lost my audience then. Yeah, people, people feel like they don't have time to get along with my thoughts. So oh, that's, okay. I think that's an annoying habit I have with my wife and anyway, that's what she <laughs> says. I <laughs> yeah, I've got a long list for mine. So. Yeah. All right, how about you, Paul? Well, oddly enough, you know, it's probably, it's not annoying to me, but it is annoying to my wife, but <laughs> this is an old one, where different people have different ways of loading a dishwasher or unloading a dishwasher, yeah. <laughs> whether you put things close together or not. So, I mean, I tend to do it one way, she tends to do it a different way. Still funny about that. <laughs> I wouldn't say you're funny about it, but yeah, for her, it's like, oh, what? <laughs> It's amazing how people get into small habits like that, that, that you, you, you know, they're yours and mm -hmm. yeah. they're different from anybody else's. Yeah. How about you, Jan? I'm a bit bossy. Are you? Yeah, I'm a bit bossy. And I also have, a, 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 for me, I can feel myself annoying people. I'll say, um, you know what you should do about that? You know, you, you say I have to go to the dentist or something. Well, you know what? You know what? I have a really good dentist. I want, you know, so I think, you know, probably you should, you know, call up my dentist and, you know, find out because 
it's really a, on almost any topic. You have super helpful abilities. Super, That's your super helpful abilities. <laughs> and I just see people going, Right. Unsolicited advice. That's okay. right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think my worst habit is the um, inability to accept that I'm lost if I'm driving. Uh, but oh, you know what? Yes. But that isn't, it's simply that I like to drive and I'm never in a hurry. Right. Right? So if I've made the wrong turn, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah. So it's not an issue for you, once again. Not bad habit is not well, an issue for yourself, right? Yeah. It's not a bad habit for me. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I have trouble with that. That would probably be my bad habit because it happens frequently. <laughs> one, one thing I, I, I have is I cannot use a GPS. Really? A, a GPS in the car, right? it, I get lost so much <laughs> because I'm, I have a good sense of direction. Normally I, 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 you know, I find my way around, but if I have a GPS, I follow the directions on that and I have no idea whether I'm heading north or south <laughs> or, or but if you get to the destination. Well. And that concludes the first episode of On Stage's Talking Theater, your look at the Ottawa theater scene. Thank you very much for joining us. Special thanks to the acting company for hosting us here at the Avalon, and also to Valley Wind Productions. Have a fantastic time at the theater, and we'll see you next time.